kids. How many times have you heard your grandparents say, when I was your age, I walked five miles to school, there and back, in the snow, freezing rain, Barefoot. and I didn't complain about it. Right. Some of us have said that ourselves. Barefoot, yeah. uphill, yeah. Right. both Bad. ways. And in many cases, they're exaggerating. No. <laughs> but this guy is not. 56-year-old James Robertson, walking 21 miles to work every day for the past 10 years because he can't afford a car. He does this and he doesn't complain about it. And by the way, he has perfect attendance. You know, I try to get home, you know, throw my claws off and go to bed and fall asleep, you know, because uh, it's not much time, about two hours, at least two hours before I have to wake up at six and do it again. Unbelievable. Only a couple of hours of sleep before he has to do it again. He lives in Detroit. And he's been doing this routine, as I mentioned, for the past decade, ever since his 1988 Honda Accord quit on him. He works at a factory for just over 10 bucks an hour in Rochester Hills, which is many miles away. Every morning, he leaves his home in Detroit at 8 a.m. to make his shift, which starts at 2 p.m. and ends at 10 p.m. Bus service is limited, so he can only take the bus for two miles of that trek, leaving the rest of the distance 21 miles round trip for walking in the rain, in the snow, in all conditions. None of his coworkers live near him, so he never really gets a ride. At the end of his shift, while they're climbing into their cars in the dark, he sets off, retracing the seven-mile walk he made earlier in the day. And once he reaches Somerset, he catches the last bus of the day at 1 a.m., finally getting home in the wee hours of the night, and then he has to do it all over again the next day and the next and so on. Well, his story was published in the Detroit Free Press and it caught the attention of this 19-year-old computer science major at Wayne State University who set up a GoFundMe page for this gentleman to get him a car, to get him insurance, to get him the cost of, to cover the cost of gasoline. And let's just see where that is now after lots of national attention. How much? How much? Over a hundred and ninety-one thousand dollars. Yeah, he'll be able to afford insurance too. Well, you know, we got to get the car. We got to pay for taxes, well, insurance. He can gas. do that unless he buys a Ferrari. He's um, on the thing to is, do it all. when this story was put out there, there was a dealership in the D Detroit area right. that said we're going to give him a car for free. So. If he takes that offer and takes this, we're not talking about free car. We're talking about retirement. <laughs> he Quitting may not have to go to the job good. anymore. Yeah. How old was he you know? again? I missed that. How old? 50-something. 50 56 okay, years yeah. old. Good for him. Yeah. Hardworking man. That's awesome. Oh, Thanks, just, it's Jeff. just unreal. The yeah. kindness of others. Yeah. But you right. can't forget about the taxes, too. Oh, sure. You know, people win a new car, but you still have to pay the taxes on that. Oh, yeah. In I think his this case, will cover it. a nice dilemma. Good. Yes. <laughs> okay. Jeff, good story. Thank you. Sure.